Good evening, good evening, good evening. So, wasn't gonna do this video, had a long day, made a video this morning, went to work, uh, got some tires that I ordered from, from my car after work. That took like two hours, mounting, balancing, wheel alignment, whatever, whatever. Came home and then I just was like, blah, whatever. But, you know, after some very special motivation, shout out to the motivation. Um, I am definitely in the mood to cook and I'm going to whip together a chicken fajita. My version of a chicken fajita. So it's not traditional. It's just, you know, I got some chicken breasts. I got some sliced onion, red and orange peppers, the cheese, and I'm gonna do the fajita seasoning. And I have um, whole wheat wrap that I'm gonna toast in the saute pan next to it. So first, I wanna start with the chicken. Oh, and I made just to put on the top. I made this little, um, it's like a chunky salsa. It's got the garlic in it, onions, tomatoes, little scotch bonnet pepper, scallion, avocado oil, and um, the yellow and orange sweet pepper. Just a little something different, you know. Gotta mix it up, gotta mix it up, gotta mix it up. So. Chicken. It's like one and a half chicken breasts, uh, five ounce cut up. Fajita seasoning. That's a good amount. Onions, uh, half an onion, small onion, just slice. Saute so that up. Get it back in there. So as soon as you got some, you know, everything's starting to get together, let's throw in the garlic. Just a little bit of sliced garlic, nothing crazy. Just, you know, like one thing. That's all. Don't want to take away from the other flavors. Also, on the other side, got a non-stick with a little oil in it, very minimal. I just want to put the wrap in there, start toasting. That's it. Very simple. Very, very simple. See now the onions and the chicken are getting nice. You could do this too with the seared chicken method I showed you, and then cut up the chicken. But I just so have I just so happen I have some grilled chicken, so that's why I did it this way. If I didn't have the grilled chicken, I would have seared it for you and cut it up, and you know would have had the tender, 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 tender chicken. Not saying this one isn't tender, but I already gave my opinion on all. Um, Seared versus grilled. Okay, this is nice, so now we just add the peppers. Just like that. Very simple, very easy. Um, people do cheese with this, people don't. It, it's totally up 
to the individual. People do red onions, people do Spanish onions. You know, it's just your preference, however you feel, you know, you, you do it to your liking, you know what I mean? So this is almost there. Let's check, let's check on um, this bad boy. Let's flip it over. Getting the brown, that's what we want. It's pretty good. We just want to toast it up because we're just going to roll it in there and, and that's it. So I'm pretty comfortable with this right now. So I'm going to add scallions. You don't have to, I'm just going to. Just because I have. In. Let it saute a little more. And I'm actually going to put it like so in the middle. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to put some of the cheese. I'm just using. You know, mixed, whatever cheese. Use the cheese of your preference. And I'm just gonna put it like so. So when this melts, I'm gonna just put it into the middle of the arm. Wow, it looks like I have enough for two. I may have to make two. It's not a problem, but I didn't expect that. Okay, perfect. Wrap's almost done. A little more brown on the top on that side. And we're good to go. Just waiting for this to melt a little. Okay, so this is good. Let me do more time on that. This is good. So I'm gonna put the wrap on the cutting board. And let me let's transfer to the cutting board. Okay, there we go. Cutting board. So all we're going to do is I'll give you guys a good angle. There you go, that's good. Just like that. So, see the cheese is nice and melted? So half of that, because obviously all of that is too much, put that just like so. Just like so. That's a good amount. So you can actually make two, but only doing the one. So we put that like so. Turn that flame off. And here we go. Got the plate over here. Got the salsa. So very easily, we just want to, it's a fajita, so. Let's just like that. Actually, no. Why be traditional? I don't want to be traditional. Let's fold. Let's go like that. And let's roll, 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 roll. And then let's give it a cut. Like 
that. Let's bring the plate. And so yeah, heat up. Just like that. Let's let's just stack it so. Oh, there we go. Really cool. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Now, let's just lift the salsa. Just a little like that. And a little like that. And a little like that. And you have your fajita. Scallion. And that's it. That's done. Chicken fajita, a little bit of salsa. Very easy, very simple. Anyone can do that. It's not that hard. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Um, any more questions about the salsa? Just ask me. I just didn't. I thought it was self-explanatory. It's just tomatoes, onions, the peppers, the avocado oil, salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, and um, scallion. Not that hard. All right, it's JV Spice Box. Have a good night. I'll see you guys in the morning.